Eleanor Calvert is a T.K. Goldenbaum. Thank you very much, Andy. You're doing a wonderful job. We appreciate it. My name is T.K. Goldenbaum, and Delmar is the coach of my son. So he's asked me to say a few words of introduction. When I say he's the coach of my son, I mean he's the coach of my son now. He is teaching him now, twice a week. He's still teaching fencing. In fact, last Tuesday was Delmar's 87th birthday, and he came and taught fencing on his 87th birthday. And he can still wear the children out. <laughs> so he comes to Northwest Fencing Center in Beaverton, Oregon, twice a week. He retired 20 years ago, but it's a joy and a passion of his to, to continue, not only with the fencing, but I believe it's to influence the young people. And we appreciate it very much. And I think that I'm here in a way, speaking for Delmar, to represent many of the other people that he has touched in his life, both his students and their parents. Again, I speak as one of the parents of a student. And we always want to express our immense gratitude to you. And I've heard some stories in the room tonight and from other people recently, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 40 years ago, about Delmar and what type of influence he had on me. And again, what I feel is immense gratitude, and that's the same thing that I hear from all of these other former students. I was looking in the bulletin, the program here, and it is quite an unbelievable life that Delmar was in the French Foreign Legion at 14 and a half. We are fortunate enough to see him so that we can hear these stories, and he shares them with our children, and we believe he shares love, passion, wisdom. We really are so happy that we have gotten our children to have Delmar as an influence in their life. In fact, if we could create a perfect coach, what would we do? We would start from scratch and we would look at Delmar as a role model. And he has a peaceful and balanced sense. He passes that to the children. He is wise and he shares that wisdom. He shares history, he shares current events, he shares philosophy, religion. We talk about all of these things. It's more than just fencing, it's about becoming a whole person. And in this process, he has become our friend. He is a teacher to the children and to us as the adults. And he has become part of our family. So we consider our son and all of the other children that Delmar has taught to be some of the luckiest kids in the world. And for them and for us, I'd like to say we love you, Delmar.
Uh, I'm also pleased to be here uh, in company of three, uh, two other great American women fencers. And uh, I'm sorry that one is absent, but we just hear how great she is. My life has been more dedicated to junior fencing. And uh, being a feminist, most of my best answers were women. <laughs> uh, I was questioned about that a few times. <laughs> but anyway, I wish to thank, therefore, all the people who have come this evening to honor me and honor the other entities in the Hall of Fame. Thank you very much. to um, draw a note that Bradley Thomas here. Bradley, would you stand up for a second? This is Bradley Thomas. For those of you who don't know, he was the first person to win all three weapons in the Junior Olympics. And I think he ended up winning like seven Junior Olympics. Quite an astonishing young man. And I have many pictures of this cute little boy all across Tumar Calabarese. He has changed his appearance a little bit. <laughs> as many of us have. And um, but I just think it's great that he came from Hawaii to, uh, I tried to find him, but his name is so ordinary, it took me forever finding Brad Thomas, Bradley Thomas, and it's amazing how many people are named Bradley Thomas. But thank you for coming. <laughs> and to introduce uh, Stacy Johnson, we have the 15th president of the United States Fencing Association and the 22nd president of the AFLA and USA Fencing, Steve Sobel. 